All right, so I'm just going to keep continuing with this uh, kind of workflow here with the concepting out of small chunks. And I'm always going back to my Z spheres. And notice this time, you know, I really can't do much with this one as far as a symmetrical piece. So all I do is have to develop one side of something. Let's say I, I want to develop something for this arm in this area. Well, I could do that. Uh, let's take off symmetry here. Let me show you how that works. So this is either an asymmetric change or if you need it to be symmetrical I can show you that also. So I'm going to show you both. So I'm just going to kind of rough this in, in the area, A to preview it. And I'm not really picky about this, you know, I, I just go for it, make it a poly mesh, find my tool for the 50th time, and append it back to the character. In this case, I don't have to turn on the symmetry, so that's that's nice. Uh, and then I'll go in here and just like use a few other brushes, like inflate. That's a nice one. So inflate allows me to kind of pump this area up a little bit. Go back into this one. I always fall into that. Move this around a little bit. This time I think I'll rely on some of the other tools here. So I'm just giving it some a lot of polygons there, you know, so then I'm just gonna use the clip brush. This clip curve brush is pretty amazing in the fact that you hold shift and control at the same time. And Pretty much name your ticket. You just gotta watch where you're cutting and how you're cutting. And certainly you can choose to take and smooth this form back out if you wanted to. A little bit of it. And draw it back into the front of the character so it looks like it wraps around.
And what I'm doing is trying to develop a form that doesn't fight the character. It flows with the body. And when I'm done, I'm just going to move this around a little bit. And see, when I retopologize this, I could choose to add gaps and stuff to it. So being a huge blob isn't a big deal. I think the worst thing about this workflow is you have to kind of use your imagination. And uh, sometimes, you know, as an instructor, I can lead you down a path. And uh, you're just going to have to trust me all the way through the path ends. And then you're going, oh, yeah, I see where he's going with that. But uh, before that, it just looks like a bunch of random chaos. I'm also thinking how this character is going to move with this giant thing on his arm. So I want to make sure that it can accustom... this bend here so I might bring it down a little bit like that Alright, good. In the next video, I'll mirror that to the other side and show you how that works.